Hi there, welcome back to the 6th lecture of C++ programming tutorial series. In the previous lesson we have discussed the various data types in C++ programming. Today in this video we will briefly discuss the operators in C++ and at the end of lesson we will write and run a sample program. Keep watch this video till the end. In programming, an operator is a symbol that is used to perform specific mathematical or a logical operation on operands. In other words we can say that, an operator operates the operands. A mathematical or a logical expression is generally formed, with the help of an operator. For example, consider this statement. Here, plus is the operator known as, addition operator and x and y are, operands. The addition operator tells the compiler to add both of the operands x and y. C++ provides the following types of operators. Assignment operator. Arithmetic operators. Relational operators. And logical operators. Assignment operators are used to assign value to a variable. Equals sign is used for assignment operator. The left side operand of the assignment operator is a variable and right side operand of the assignment operator is a value. The value on the right side must be of the same data type of variable on the left side, otherwise the compiler will raise an error. For example, x equals 5. This statement assigns the integer value 5 to the variable x. Consider another example. x equals y. In this statement, assigns to variable x the value contained in variable y. The value of x, at the moment this statement is executed is lost and replaced by the value of y. Arithmetic operators used to perform basic mathematical operations. Such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. All these operators are binary operators, which means they operate on two operands. There is one thing to note in division that, when we use integer division, that is, both operands are integers, yields an integer result. This means that, for example, if you are dividing 5 by 2, it will give integer result as 2, instead of actual result 2.5. Thus in integer division, the result is truncated to the whole number, the fractional part, after decimal, is ignored. If we want to get the correct result, then we should use float, data type. The modulus operator returns the remainder after division. For example, if we divide 5 by 2, then the remainder will be 1. So the result of 5 modulus 2, will be 1. This operator can only be used with integer operands. When several operations occur in an expression, each part is evaluated and resolved in a predetermined order called operator precedence. This table explains the precedence of the arithmetic operators. When expressions contain operators from more than one category, the parentheses are used to force the evaluation order. The operators in the parentheses are evaluated first. The operators, multiplication, division and modulus have the highest precedence after parentheses, and are evaluated next. Addition and subtraction operators are evaluated last, because they have the lowest precedence. If in an expression, all operators are equal precedence, then they are evaluated in the left to right order in which they appear. Let's look some examples. What is the result of, 10 plus 2, multiplication 8? The answer is, 26 not 96. As multiplication has higher precedence than plus, so 2, multiplication 8, is evaluated first, 
and then the answer 16 is added to 10 and we get the result 26. If the same expression rewritten as will give the result 96. Note that how the parentheses affect the evaluation of an expression. Relational operators are used for comparison of the values of two operands. Some of the most important relational operators that are used in programming languages are shown in this table. The logical operators are those operators which return a false or true result over a conditional expression. AND, OR, AND NOT are logical operators. Here, is a sample program to calculate the percentage of marks. Prompt the user to enter the obtained marks for five subjects. In this program we used, CN. CN, is the counterpart of the COUT. CN, is the input stream that gets data from the user, and assigns it to the variable on its right side. When we run the program after compilation in command prompt, the results are Thanks, for watching, thumb up, if you like it, and subscribe, if you want more tutorials.